Hello friends, welcome back again. As part of translation and rotation of coordinate axis, let us look at this example. We have been given that the line 2x plus 3y equal to 8 equation, we have to find out the transformed equation of this line. When the coordinate axis are translated to 1 comma 2 and afterwards rotated by an angle of theta equal to 30 degrees, 30 degrees at the new location. We have to find out what will be the transformed e equation. So let's put down our table. We know that x minus h here, y minus k here and x dash, y dash. We have cos theta minus sin theta and the sin theta cos theta. If you know matrices, you can remember that determinant is 1, cos square theta minus of minus sin square theta, cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. So that's a table we have. So let's just fill that table, make it a table. So then we will move. Okay, we are done with it. Now we have been given original equation. We have to find out the transformed equation. So original equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 8. So what we will do, we will write down first x and y in terms of x dash and y dash. So let's look at where is x here. x minus h equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta. Similarly, y minus k equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta. So let's write down that. We will say x minus h equal to x dash cos theta plus minus it is minus y dash sin theta. We we'll leave space for simplification. Similarly, y minus k equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta. Now, let's go back and substitute the values. We have x minus h that is x minus 1 because h comma k is 1 comma 2. x minus 1 equal to x dash into cos theta. Theta is 30 degrees. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus y dash into sin 30 that is 1 by 2. So simplify that we will have x equal to root 3 x dash by 2 minus y dash by 2 plus 1. Similarly, let's go and put down for y minus k y minus 2 equal to x dash sin 30 1 by 2 plus y dash into cos 30 that is root 3 by 2. So can I write down y equal to x by 2 plus root 3y by 2 plus 2. So these are the values of x and y. Now we'll just go ahead and try to substitute them and simplify and get our transformed equation in terms of x dash and y dash. So given 2x plus 3y equal to 8, write down 2x plus 3y equal to 8. But according to us, x can be written as, instead of x, we'll write down, that is root 3x dash minus y dash plus 2. Can I take the LCM there and divide by 2 plus 3 into y that is x plus root 3y plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 8 
can I write it as 8 into 2 by 2 so that if I multiply if I multiply the whole equation with 2 then I will be losing all the denominators so what I will have now in the next step is 2 into root 3 x dash minus y dash plus 2 plus 3 into x dash dash plus root 3 y dash plus 4 equal to 16 simplify we will open the brackets we will write down 2 root 3 x dash minus 2 y dash plus 4 equal to 3 x dash plus 3 root 3 y dash plus 12 minus 16 equal to 0 now we take x dash as common I will have 3 plus 2 root 3 plus y dash into 3 root 3 minus 2 is equal to 0 because we have 4 plus 12 is 16 cancelling with 16 so how I can see one way that this solution is correct is if you are able to observe 2x plus 3y equal to 8 one of the solution is 1 comma 2 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 6 8 2 plus 6 is 8 8 equal to 8 LHS is equal to RHS that means 1 comma 2 is a solution if 1 comma 2 is a solution of this line and we are translating the coordinate axis to 1 comma 2 then it is passing through the new origin that means it should be of the form of y equal to mx where the constant term will not be there so what you can try now take this as x dash and y dash this is your transformed equation go back to this table and try to get x in terms of x dash in terms of x and y and y dash in terms of x and y and try to get the original equation 2x plus 3y equal to 8 that completes the cycle where you understood how to go from original equation to transformed equation and again from the transformed equation back to the original equation so that culminates or completes this particular topic translation and rotation of coordinate axis where I tried to create couple of simple problems so that I can explain the concept to you I verified these problems earlier by doing cross checking whether they are correct or not so in the next session we'll start locus as requested we'll start locus how to find out the locus what is locus and problems related to locus so thanks for your time and support bye for now so before we go so the final the final equation with respect to the new coordinate axis will be 3 plus 2 root 3 3 plus 2 root 3 x plus 3 root 3 minus 2 into y equal to 0 with respect to the new coordinate axis if we take them as x comma y so the last step is to make them as x and y again